Hall, 1969. Black revolutionary groups tensely discuss how to build a black studies department at UCLA. At the end of the meeting, two bodies hit the lunchroom floor. Bullets sink into their chest and back. What? Two students die trying to build a black studies department? Campbell Hall, 2013. UCLA students film a spoken word video right here calling out the lack of diversity on this campus. The video reaches millions of viewers. Campbell Hall, 2014. Many Bruins, students, faculty, staff still wander this campus with no knowledge, no recognition, no understanding of the killing that went down, of who fell down in this hall. These sunshine lit pathways, ignorance is bliss attitudes, and failure to recognize history must end. All that's left is one, that boulder with two names unexplained. Their full names, Alprentice Bunchy Carter and John J. Huggins Jr., two black students, two black Panthers, who came to UCLA through an affirmative action program that recognized their desire to strengthen their communities, a program that no longer exists today. And two, a plaque in the lobby with the words, two members of the Black Panther Party were slain. But who did the slaying? People disagree about the identity of the murderer. It was those black revolutionaries, the Steiner brothers. No, Claude Hoover definitely killed them. I think it was a police officer trying to silence the debate over who should be the new director of the Black Studies Department. According to an LA Times interview with an eyewitness at the shootings, the gunman walked in at the end of the meeting. John Huggins hits the floor. Bunchy Carter hides behind a chair, but he too hits the floor. Reduced to a mere chalk body outline, drawn by the police the next morning. Whoever it was got away. The alleged murderer escaped from prison and to other countries. Many believe the government helped him escape. The FBI framed the Black Panthers as violent, violent bloodthirsty, bloodthirsty communists, communists trying to overthrow the government. But did you know the Black Panthers created the first free lunch programs in elementary schools, which the federal government adopted nationwide? or built health services, especially for black Americans? The FBI and the media focus on people of color killing each other. Black bodies killing black bodies, as if these murders were some crazy Black Panthers fault. We bring you a different story. During these revolutionary years, the FBI set out to break the unity of minority groups across the nation. The FBI planted lies, made endless arrests without evidence of crime. The FBI inserted its slimy tentacles into the politics of the black student groups meeting in Campbell Hall, sharpening tensions, turning leaders against each other. Unnecessary. The FBI murdered the students. UCLA is no different than the dishonest U.S. government. UCLA wants to make the students feel safe, but hiding this history makes us feel lied to. Knowing the truth makes us feel safe. It seems like there's hope, but whoever pulled the trigger was never found. Or did people never search for them? Why does no one publicize this? We may not be part of the Black Panthers, but at the end of the day, we, we are Bruins, like, like our fellow students, Bunchy and John. I, Anakai Geschleider, and I, Sua Cho, feel, feel compelled, compelled to tell this story. story. This graphic part of our school's history that goes unseen and unheard every day. So if we are Bruins, if we are Americans, and, and if we're expected to be educated college students, we want affirmative action and a stronger retention program. So more students like Bunchy and John can come to UCLA and feel support. We must acknowledge this history. We must acknowledge these deaths. We, we want, want you to spread this story. story.